Hi guys, welcome to this video uh, of me putting together the 3018 CNC by Banggood. It uh, all came well packaged, everything was there, nothing was damaged, so all good. The, uh, the frame itself goes together with these corner brackets with T-nuts and Allen screws and all the, all the uh, tools were there to, to put this together. These are the brackets that hold the rods that the, uh, the bed slides on. Here you can see me putting the linear bearings, which are 3D printed parts, again with uh, Allen screws and T-nuts. This all went together quite simply and quite quickly. The uh, middle bit there, that's not a linear bearing, that's what houses the anti-lash, um, anti-backlash device, which is basically a spring and a piece of brass, which uh, seems to work pretty well. I'll just put everything in pretty loosely, uh, ready for adjustment later on. Uh, this is the anti backlash device it's a threaded piece of brass with a spring that goes over the top uh, the lead screw goes into that it's then threaded into um, a nut within the 3d printed housing Okay, I've got the support rods, uh, they just fitted into the linear bearings and then into their, um, their holders if you like. They were tightened down with Allen screws which I loosened off just to get the rods in there and then tightened back up again when everything was square and in the right, uh, in the right positions. just nipped it all up just to keep it sort of where it, uh, where it should be uh, whilst I uh, sort of put other bits together. Here's the metal housing uh, for the stepper motor that just screwed in with four small screws that was then attached to the frame using again T-nuts and Allen screws. Here you can see the uh, rear stepper motor being put on its metal bracket. That is then attached to the mainframe with the T-nuts and Allen screws. There's the coupler that goes onto the step, uh, stepper motor and the lead screw is then you know, put into there and tightened down with some Allen grub screws. Just measuring it all up, making sure that, that stepper motor is central and then took all the measurements from that to make sure everything was uh, in the right place and equidistant and parallel before tightening it all down. Here's the housing with the, the lead screw bearing in it, that's uh, also T-nuts and Allen screws. There you can see all, all of it in the, where, it, where it should be. Uh, for final assembly and all tightened up. There's the corner brackets, uh, and that all seems to hold everything really quite square and sturdy. Uh, there is an obvious mistake that will become apparent in a little while, uh, but I shall let you know when uh, when that when that is. So you can see I'm sort of measuring it all up, it's basically 110mm from each end and the uh, and obviously the stepper motor and the anti-backlash thing is directly in the middle of the of the frame. So that's essentially, with one piece missing, the uh, the base of the of the CNC.
you can see that the stepper motor and lead speed they move really really freely that's uh, that anti-backlash thing seems to work well but here's the obvious mistake there should have been two cross members at the stepper motor end held in place with the uh, angle angle bits um, I'll put those on uh, afterwards so the upright that holds the motor housing uh, that all went together pretty much the same way as the base with those corner brackets allen screws the stepper motor um, that went on the same way as the uh, the other stepper motor with a with a bracket metal bracket um, and the coupling onto the lead screw uh, the lead screw then went into uh, another 3d printed housing with a bearing in it so I wouldn't bore you by watching you not watching me put more screws and nuts on exactly the same thing so here you can see the 3d printed angle uh, supports for the uh, for the upright there you can see the upright also had uh, two cross members and it all went together pretty pretty simply there you can see the housing for the lead screw with the bearing in it uh, support on the other side and like I can say it all went together pretty easily um, here's the wire management I just use zip ties and a, a little bit of that plastic uh, coiled stuff to try and keep the, the cables uh, a bit neater lots and lots of angle uh, right angle bits supporting the the framework which seems to keep it very very sturdy and there you can see the 3d printed support the main board is very simple three stepper motors a bit of cabling and a power supply there's not a lot else to it um, there is a USB input to plug into the computer to upload the the G code um, and that essentially is it um, I will put together another video of me using these, the G-Code software that I use, um, which I found really good. Uh, but that will come in a little while. So here's a quick, another overview of the underside of it. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this short video. Hope it's of some use. Thumbs up or thumbs down and comments are always welcome. See you later. Bye.